back pedals to his 28. Schroeder looking at his options and takes it up the middle to the 40, to the 45, to midfield at the 45, still on his feet, outside to the 30, 25, 20, inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line. Way bow the pass from center, Lyle sets, looks, throws, back of the end zone, caught, touchdown Beavers, Shane Morales. Welcome back to Beavers All Access. Seniors can make or break a team, and this year they definitely made it for Oregon State. This group tremendous. Let's start with the defensive line. You know you got Victor, you know you got Slade on the ends, but what about Purnell Booth as well, right in the middle, three starters. Oh, absolutely, and you know, Purnell, Purnell has been the glue on that team. He's helped young Stephen Paya play the kind of football he's capable of. He'll be great in years to come. Uh, Purnell's done so many things off the field, too. He's a mentor, great, great guy to have in your program. You know, Victor and Slade are great stories because they're tremendous athletes who came to Oregon State playing other positions. Slade was a walk-on, and they, you know, they were third in the league in sacks. I think both of them got a sack today. So remarkable play out of these seniors. It goes all the way through the defense, Todd. The, when you get to the secondary, you're, you're graduating four in the secondary, and Al Afalava is a four-year starter. Keenan Lewis is a four-year, probably a four-year all-academic Pac-10, second in history with Dennis Weathersby. You've got Laybourne, who leads the Pac-10 in tackles. That's pretty remarkable. And, and you, you know, Brandon Hughes, Brandon comes as a receiver from Illinois because a, a friend of a friend turns into a Thorpe candidate, team leader, spiritual leader, just a wonderful group of people on defense. You've still got Casey Nowak. You've got Cornell Bryant played wonderfully in the middle, waited five years to play. A lot of great players on the defensive side who are graduating. Yeah, absolutely, and they will be missed. On the offensive side of things, you've got to start down in the trenches. You can go with Levitri and Spear, Tavita Thompson, Jeremy Perry. That is a foursome. Yeah, uh, great football players. Uh, you know, uh, Andy's already been named a 2008 All-American. That's remarkable. He'll go high. He'll play on Sundays. Adam Spear, people forget that he started for two years, a lot because of, of the way Jeremy's been heard, but Adam has had a tremendous career. Tavita came along, was a two-year starter, had some problems with the medication a year ago and missed some games, but that, you know, probably the, the one thing that's a negative about this group of seniors is the injury to Jeremy Perry. There's a guy who was maybe as good a football player as Oregon State's ever had in the, that position. He's been injured. I think there's a chance he'll, he'll get that leg back in shape and be able to try it at the next level. Great football player, great offensive linemen who are seniors graduating. Yeah, that would be great. And of course, we can't go away without talking about Shane Morales and Sammy Strotter. Yeah, Shane was such a surprise this year. Always been a guy with great hands, but he came along this year as a big play guy. Made five catches today against Oregon. Big catches, hurt his hand at the end, so I'm hoping that's well. Um, he's had some troubles with injury at the end, but great addition to the Beavers. And if there's a heart and soul on this team, it's Sammy Strotter. Um, Coach Riley said yesterday in Portland that one of the nicest things about Sammy in this extra year he got with a medical redshirt is he got to graduate now, football-wise, with his class. The guys he came in with, who he was recruited with, they're all going out together. I think we've hit, hit just about everybody, Todd. Uh, we did Austin Hall still on the defensive side. Trying to think my memory isn't that good. So, But great group of seniors. They will be sorely missed. And where will these seniors play their final game? We'll talk about it after the break. Moivau is going to roll to his right and look and throw. And the ball is caught by Halahuni. Touchdown, Beavers! Joe Halahuni! <laughs> Play action fake, looks, Lyle fires back the other way. It's caught. Touchdown, Beavers, Brady King. You're watching Beavers All Access on FSM. Every senior football player in the country wants to end up in a bowl game, but not everyone gets to do it. Oregon State seniors will. And there's still a chance, though, Steve, that they could wind up in the Rose Bowl. Well, uh, it's a s slim, slim chance. Uh, UCLA has to beat USC, which basically puts you in a three-way tie. You go back to this, uh, basically this tie situation and the, the way it shakes out, Oregon State gets the nod and would go to the Rose Bowl. But I don't see U USC and UCLA ending up that beneficial to Oregon State. Yeah, I know it's a rivalry game, but come on, please, if you've watched USC this year, I think you understand where we're coming from. At the same time, 
Holiday Bowl goes to the second place team, but that's still up in the air. They have to wait until the Rose Bowl is decided. So what's the scenario, how it could play out for Oregon State? Well, there are a number of different things. Right now, I would presume that SC will be in the Rose Bowl. Oregon could go to the, would go to the Holiday Bowl. Now, Oregon, Oregon State are both 7-2, right? 7-2 in conference. So they're tied. So the Holiday Bowl could elect to take Oregon State. That's really slim but because of the butt whipping we got tonight, quite frankly. But, you know, they could. They could say, wait a minute, the quiz isn't there. He might make a difference. This would be an exciting deal. Oregon's been to the Holiday Bowl three times. Oregon State never had. They talk about travel and money and all those kind of things that we, you know, true sports fans never talk about. So we could end up there. But probably it's the third place bowl, even though we're second place or tied. And that would be back to the Sun Bowl in El Paso. And people have said it's definitely not the Emerald. It's definitely not Las Vegas, so don't worry about those. If we're talking about the Sun, it could be the Big 12 third place team or the Big East second place team. Looking at those teams, that could be Pitt. It could be Oklahoma State. It could be Texas Tech. It also could be Notre Dame. That's an interesting foursome. Yeah. I'd like to play Notre Dame, actually. <laughs> the Beavers, you know, are 2-0 and against them. They beat them in the inside in the big Fiesta Bowl. And um, I don't see Notre Dame getting into this mix, to tell you the truth. They aren't playing well enough to be attractive to people. Uh, who knows what this is going to be like after the, the last couple of games they've taken with Syracuse and USC. So I, I like the Big 12. I like the Big East. That's probably Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. um, that That's a great matchup. The Beavers played them in the inside bowl a few years ago um, and, and played a good football game but lost that football game. That would be a great game for the Beavs. Then you talk about this Southwest Conference group and you got Texas Tech. Uh, you got Oklahoma State, as you said. Those are really good football teams and really fun football teams, especially for a Beaver defense that plays normally very good pass defense. So a lot of different options are out there for Oregon State. That'll be something that comes out over the next four or five days, definitely after Saturday when all that comes together. All right. You know what? We got a lot coming up this month in regards to Beavers All Access. A lot of preview shows. You know, there's some great winter sports coming up. We will deliver you all of those previews. We'll talk about wrestling. We'll talk about gymnastics. We'll talk about men's and women's basketball. And along with that, we've got the bowl preview show. You and I will get a chance to get together again. We'll talk about that game and look ahead to the opponent that Oregon State plays. Lots of thank yous, of course, for Steve Priest joining us here after the Civil War game. And big thanks to everybody at 101 for allowing us to go ahead and do the show from uh, their uh, bar and restaurant down here in downtown Corvallis. Until next time, for Steve Fries, I'm Todd Mansfield. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on another edition of Beavers All Access. Pressure coming. Masoli hit and sacked by Keaton Christick. Oregon showing blitz. They rush for Moibal with a screen to Francis. Makes the catch. Breaks a tackle. 15 to the 10. To the 5. And in. Touchdown. Way bow the pass from center. Lyle sets, looks, throws back of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Beavers. Shane Morales. Way bow play action fake. Deep drop to throw. Post route for Sammy Strotter. Sammy makes the catch and is tackled down at the five yard line. Moy Val is going to roll to his right and look and throw. And the ball is caught by Halahuni. Touchdown, Beavers. Joe Halahuni. Moivau to throw. Lyle throws down the seam. Nice catch by Morales. Touchdown, Beavers. Back pedals to his 28. Schroeder looking at his options and takes it up the middle to the 40 to the 45 to midfield at the 45. Still on his feet. Outside to the 30. 25, 20. Inside the 20. Down to the 17-yard line. Moivau play action fake. Looks. Lyle fires back the other way. It's caught. Touchdown, Beavers. Brady can't.